The Kagami Mochi Dagger is New Year's Takumi's weapon of choice and it also happens to be our first killer slash slaying type weapon for the dagger class. Its effect is just like all the other killer weapons in the game. It accelerates special trigger which basically means any special you use gets its cooldown count reduced by 1. Being a dagger weapon it also applies a debuff in att if an attack is made and it's a minus 7 defense and resistance debuff to the target and any foes within 2 spaces. For reference, the Kagami Mochi Plus is most similar to an upgraded Silver Dagger Plus since, it, since they apply the same debuff. However, the Kagami Mochi has 2 less might than a Silver Dagger, but it does get that nice special cooldown reduction. At a glance, this weapon seems like a solid all-around choice. Killer and Slang type weapons are quite strong because of their ability to help units activate specials faster and more often. The, the Dagger class has been roughly ignored in the current arena game, but they have been decent answers to some PvE content thanks to the debuffing power. After making my video on the Smoke Dagger, I've become very interested in this class of weapons, mainly because they're so underused. Even though the Weapon Refinery gave some daggers really nice buffs, you need to spend a ton of resources to get one. The Kagami Mochi seems to have taken all the buffs from Update 2.0, and we now have a dagger weapon that comes with a lot of the features that you can only get by refining the older daggers. So I want to discuss how I think the Kagami Mochi stacks up against our other dagger weapons. I think daggers can be split into two simple groups, the first being in-combat daggers, and these are weapons whose main effect only occur in combat. Poison Dagger has an effectiveness against infantry, and the Kitty Paddle is effective against Tome users. Both of these grant a ton of extra damage if you fight their specific enemy types. Meanwhile, the Seashell Dagger grants a stat boost in battle if the unit is at 100% HP. Now all of these daggers apply debuffs after combat ends, but you can see that they mainly only have an effect during a fight. The second group is out of combat daggers, and they have effects that occur after combat takes place. The Dancer's Fan heals nearby allies, the Deathly Dagger deals extra non-lethal damage, the Smoke Dagger applies a huge debuff to all stats, and the Rogue Dagger steals stats then buffs up the user and the team. These weapons also apply a standard debuff, but their abilities have no effect on the outcome of the battle that just occurred. Now, where does this place the Kagami Mochi? You might have guessed it, but I believe the Kagami Mochi Dagger is a good balance of both of these groups. Allow me to explain. Let's compare the Kagami Mochi to the Poison Dagger and the Kitty Paddle to show why it pulls traits from both in-combat and out-of-combat daggers. First off, it has a way higher might. 12 might is a big difference versus Poison Dagger's measly 5 might, and the Kitty Paddle's slightly better 8 might. The reason these two daggers have lower might is because of their effectiveness bonus effect. The Kagami Mochi trades that extra damage against certain enemies for cooldown reduction. The nice thing about it is that you can deal a good amount of damage against any enemy type. The Poison Dagger loses so much power if you aren't fighting infantry, while the Kagami Mochi can use that 7 extra might to deal more damage consistently. Instead of being focused on specializing, the Kagami Mochi is a good weapon if you want someone who can deal with any kind of situation. It also opens up different special skill options because of that reduced cooldown effect. Like to run Glacies on Felicia? Well with a reduced special you can get a 3 turn Glacies, or you could choose a 2 turn Iceberg to potentially activate it in one round of combat. Maybe it will change up some builds for people who like to use daggers. So as I mentioned, the Kagami Mochi keeps up with the update 2.0 buffs to daggers and already comes with a lot of the improvements that were made, but are only available to the older daggers if you refine them. One thing they keep is the debuff effect that now hits the target and any of their friends within two spaces. It's a little thing, but it's nice to have. Now the Poison Dagger and Kitty Paddle don't even have any sort of area of effect debuffing, their debuffs only affect the target and only if that target is of the same enemy type that they are effective against. This is sort of bad because the whole point of these two weapons is that you want to have you want to attack the right target and they should be dead because of that extra damage. At least the other daggers spread their debuffs to other enemies and the Kagami Mochi retains that nice minus 7 debuff to defense and resistance in an area. You can see why I think the Kagami Mochi falls in between the classes and is in a nice middle ground. Reduced special cooldown for combat, and a nice AoE debuff for after. Another edge that the Kagami Mochi might have over the Poison Dagger and Kitty Paddle is that I think it may be refinable. This, uh, this video was made before the weapon is out, so I cannot say for sure yet. However, the Winter Weapons can be refined, and I did not think those needed any help since they have good effects. This makes me think that they will also allow the New Year's weapons to be refined. Fortunately, the Kagami Mochi already comes with a lot of the buffs given to the older daggers once they are refined. It has the updated levels of might for daggers, 
and it has the better AoE debuffing effect. The big thing is that the Poison Dagger and Kitty Paddle can't even be refined, so that they, don't, they won't even get the option for more speed or extra resistance. If the Kagami Mochi can be refined, then those extra stats may, may be more worth it for certain builds. So just some personal thoughts to end this video, I think the Kagami Mochi is good for units who depend on specials to deal damage. Felicia is the best example of this, since her terrible base attack stat means that she really does need her special to do most of the work for her. Of course, you could give her a Poison Dagger or a Kitty Petal, but again, they only work against certain enemy types, and the Kagami Mochi will be better against other types of enemies. Keep in mind, this is our first dagger with the killer type effect, so I'm sure those who know more about daggers than I do will find some new builds to play around with. New Year's Takumi comes with Moonbow as a special, so that will be on a one turn cooldown, and maybe that will be a good setup for other daggers as well. There is a lot of room for experimentation. So the Kagami Mochi is essentially the same as a slang bow for an archer. One is effective against flyers, while one applies a nice debuff. But they both have the same might, and perform the same as colorless physical damage. If you use someone like Niles, who runs a simple killer bow and iceberg combo, then you can apply the same build idea to a dagger unit. Damage wise, archers and bows are no different. It wasn't until I started using Saizo more that this really hit me. Both, are, both classes are very similar, but archers have been much more popular mainly because I think they have better weapons. The power of Brave Bow and Fire Sweep Bow just seem to be more consistent than the power of debuffing and enemy effectiveness bonuses. However, daggers may see some more usage thanks to the buffs they recently got. Overall, I think the Kagami Mochi Plus is a decent all-around weapon. It is a solid neutral game dagger, meaning that it won't be the best in certain situations, but it will be dependable and won't be super weak if you can't get the perfect matchup. It also still has good competition among dagger weapons. The Poison Dagger from Kagero is just so powerful against infantry, and the utility of the Smoke Dagger from Saizo is a pretty strong once it's refined. I don't think it will be a game changer, but it certainly is a nice weapon to have. Too bad it is a seasonal weapon because that essentially means we won't see a permanent slang type dagger added as a permanent dagger er, added to a permanent dagger user. That is definitely a little odd. The dagger class is already considered pretty weak, and having now four of its new weapons locked to seasonal characters does not help at all. So will I be summoning on the New Year's banner? Yeah, probably. I'm skipping the legendary summoning event, and I was able to get another winter unit, so I've, I have been starting to save up orbs again. Camilla's stats impress me, and I would love to have a red flyer other than Paula. Azura, well as Azura, and a flying dancer, doesn't really need any kind of reason not to have. Overall, a decent banner to pull from. Even Takumi has a very good offensive spread of 34 attack and speed, and could be a better candidate than Kagero for the poison dagger, possibly. I would be happy with any of them. As for the Kagami Mochi, if you're a fan of dagger users, then consider saving an extra Takumi if you get one. Maybe future dagger users could make good use of the reduced special cooldown. Tell me your guys' thoughts on this weapon, or what you think about the New Year's banner in general. I think this will be my last video for the year, as I will be busy preparing for the New Year's with my family. I'll see you guys in 2018.